and welcome back to my channel. You are watching At Home with Troy. I am Troy and in today's video, what we are going to do is decorate my uh, kitchen for the holidays. Yes, there's a Christmas tree behind me, but we're not gonna talk about that today. That's gonna be for another day. Um, I have a, um, a couple of things I need to get done. Of course, tidy up the kitchen, dishes, sweeping and like that. And we are gonna be decorating my tier tray as well as the rest of the kitchen, you guys. I'm super excited. I'm not gonna talk a hole in your head. Let's get started. So I'm just gonna jump right in you guys and start with cleaning the kitchen so that I can get it ready for decorating. Um, this is a combination of uh, breakfast, uh, dinner, uh, the lunch snacks. Um, I ain't making no excuses y'all. I did not do dishes all day this day. It's a hot mess. So I'm gonna tackle it right now. Um, I'm starting off with my pans because I absolutely hate to do the pans. I'm that type of person that if I hate something or I don't like it, I run into it head first so that I can just get it over with. So um, whenever I do the dishes, I always start off with my pans and then I work my way back. So I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but I'm using uh, the Mrs. Meyers um, seasonal scent, the Snowdrop. Usually I opt for something more traditional like with pine or a cedar smell, but um, I just had to try this out this year and I really like it. So you guys, this was really kicking my butt. I don't think I'm ever going to do this again unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, today, I was just like, I have no excuses. So I was just sitting around. I definitely should have done the dishes after each meal because this took forever and a day. But um, let's use some YouTube magic and get these dishes all clean quickly. And there we go. <laughs> so you guys, on to my first hack and tip I wanted to give you for having um, decorating your home on a budget. I took these old boxes that you saw right there and I just wrapped them up in the theme wrapping paper that I had this year. It's super simple, it's festive, and it saves me a dollar. I didn't have to go back out and try to find more things to decorate this top area of my cabinet. So starting off, I'm just gonna take down all of my Pioneer Woman um, products. Um, well, that, you know, uh, the uh, picture was not Pioneer Woman, but you know, the rest of the stuff is. So right now I'm just taking everything down and I'm gonna end up, you know, throwing those in the sink and washing them because they were so dusty and oily. So you guys, you can't tell on camera, but as I was, you know, bending over to put my foot on top of my bar, y'all, that was like a good two feet and a half. That was probably the most unsafe thing I did. And by the grace of God, I didn't fall down. But as I got up here just to dust the top of the cabinets, I just, you know, saw so much grease and um, stains. So I just took um, some Mrs. Myers and I went in lightly and gave it a really light clean. I really need to get in there with some, um, you know, with a plastic brush and just give it a really good scrub. But this light wipe down, you know, that did the trick for the moment. I am so glad that I was doing this after dark though. Um, dinner was finished, as you all saw me do the dishes and the kiddos were in bed. Um, I'm the type of person that when I see something, I have to see the project through. So like there was no way I could put all my, you know, things up there with it all dusty and dirty. So I just, you know, went up there with my vacuum cleaner and just got all those dust bunnies that had collected up there. 
Um, yeah, like I said, I'm just that type of person. You know, if I start a project, I gotta finish it. I, my mind just works that way. Like, I'll be up till one o'clock in the morning painting a wall just to get something completed. I just can't stand to have things done halfway. So just on to the decorating and just placing things, you know, the way that I like them. No rhyme or reason, just trying to make things balance, you know, whether they're vertical or horizontal. Um, I'm going to take this Dollar Tree garland that I had, you know, in my shed from past years. It's super old, super flimsy, but um, I got a really good use for it. Um, the, the space was just looking kind of empty with just the boxes. So um, I thought this garland would just give it a nice touch. And since it's up so high, you can't really tell that it's as flimsy and as sparse as it actually is. Now, if you guys were here for my Christmas in July series, you all saw me make these little uh, lollipops out of some um, foam rounds from the dollar store. So I just grabbed those out of, you know, the old uh, craft, my old craft, you know, section. And um, I'm just putting them up there just to add a little bit more dimension. Um, these lollipops did not stand up on their own, so I just grabbed a mason jar that I had in my cabinet and just placed those in there. So here we are guys, I'm finished with the first part of decorating the kitchen over the cabinet and I'm really happy how it turned out. Um, it has dimension, it has depth, you know, it draws your eye up and down and across and I'm really happy how it turned out. So you all saw this in a, a former DIY video. This is just my um, bulb ornament um, wreath. Um, super simple. I got all of the um, ornaments. Well, not I didn't get all of them from the Dollar Tree, but I got most of them from the Dollar Tree. Just the larger ones I did order off of Amazon. So on to the tear tray, we're gonna decorate it. You guys, I don't even wanna tell you how hard I worked on this tear tray. Not, um, you know, cleaning it or, you know, the pieces or anything, just trying to situate things in a, um, in a balanced way, just trying to make it look full and not make the areas look too sparse. Cause my tear tray is kind of large. It's a DIY that I did and, um, I just didn't really anticipate all that space at the bottom. So if you don't have the proper, you know, size of things, whether it's horizontal or vertical, um, yeah, it just looks kind of empty. So right now I'm just using this mesh. I've never used mesh before, you guys. That's why it looks like I'm on the, that's why I am on the struggle bus. It don't even look like I'm on the struggle bus, honey, I was. So um, I just cut up some pieces of mesh just so, you know, the, um, decorations could have something to lay on and as you can see it's kind of tightly coiled so I'm trying to bend it backwards so it'll lay flat and um, I'm just going to try to rearrange these things um, in a way as I said that looks balanced all around the tier tray I'm not going to focus on the back of it too much because it's going to be in the corner and no one's going to see it so what I've got on the bottom tier is some of that um, Dollar Tree garland that I was talking to you guys about earlier that was even on top of my cabinet. I had some extra pieces and um, I just broke them off and um, I just put them on the tear tray just to make it look a little bit more full. So most of these products um, came from the Dollar Tree, as you all saw in previous videos, the DIYs that I made, if you were here for that. Um, the little elf up there, I got him from Target. I got that a striped top hat from Walmart. 
I got my tea. I don't remember where I got that tea ornament from, but um, I'm pretty sure it was somewhere like Walmart. And that little um, truck ornament I got a couple years back from Walmart. And um, these picks I got from the Dollar Tree. So you guys, since my tea ornament wouldn't stand up on its own, I went and got um, another tea that I had um, stashed away in my farmhouse decor and I decided to take this mini garland and just wrap it around it. Um, I just thought it looked cute and festive, um, no rhyme or reason, I just wrapped it around and I really, really liked the way that it came out. So you guys, here's the tear tray, all complete. I, um, I'm really happy that I didn't give up on it. <laughs> and I just kept finding little things that would definitely go with the theme overall. And it came out perfectly. So here's my kitchen, you guys, all complete. Um, the next morning, the kids absolutely loved everything. Um, my youngest actually woke up and asked me, was Santa here? <laughs> But um, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We are at the end of it. I hope I gave you some inspiration and I will see you guys in the next one. Definitely stay tuned. I have so much more Christmas decorations to come. Bye.